Fish and chips, fish and chips, make me want to lick my lips. Ladies and gentlemen, viewers around the world, straight out of Narawahia, via Titahi Bay, here's Mario. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, 3.5. How's your day been? Mine's been very satisfying. Had quite a bit of fun and, well, surprisingly active. I love doing stuff. So let's go straight to the snippets and see what happened today. Alrighty, so it's just uh, gone midnight or about to turn midnight, depending on what clock you look at. And I'm off to bed. I'm still feeling a little bit seedy from my infusion. I say seedy, I'm just a little bit jaded. Sort of just got an over, over, sort of overall feeling of tiredness. So I think a, a good, good sleep tonight. We should wake up pretty flash in the morning. Um, temperature wise, I've, I've turned the heater off a little while ago, so it's 21.1 .1 in here. It's a little chilly around the bones, but not cold with 43% humidity. But interestingly, um, outside 9.8, 94%, but the pressure down to 999, below 1000. So we're in a low pressure system at the moment, which um, is probably giving us some uh, quite... Uh, you know, rough weather, it's a bit windy outside and it's been raining quite heavily on and off. So uh, that's what it looks like for tomorrow. So it's off to bed. All good. All right, so um, I got into work at seven this morning, nice and early. So I got myself a free park and our workshop doesn't, didn't start till nine, so I got a little bit of work done, and then we repeated the workshop from nine. And now it's um, I'm heading off to get fish and chips. Um, so see how that goes. I'm hoping to get a photo of the fish and chips on their own, and I've got a couple of guys that are going to come and collect them from me, and hopefully I'll be able to get a, a free park um, afterwards. So. Uh, that's um, what we're trying to do, trying to set up. So on my way to get the fish and chips. So far we've had a pretty good morning. And yeah, we'll see what uh, how this all pans out, hopefully. I've got to buy some tomato sauce as well to go with the chips. So fish and chips successfully picked up. And we'll, uh, yep, heading back to Wintech. Meanwhile... On the front seat of the RAV4 and the chips are successfully delivered and I'm just gonna go and find a, a free car park hopefully and uh, and I'll wander on down there so I should uh, get some exercise before I uh, walk off my uh, before I get my chips all uh, sorted all good and then after a veritable feast of fish and chips and sausages and hot dogs and crab sticks. Unfortunately, this was the only photograph I was able to get. Lunch was finished and we carried on with the workshop. And then as I sit in my RAV4, about to start up, ready to go home, this is what I had to look at. This wonderful vista there with the, the moon. And uh, yeah, beautiful. What a wonderful day. So it's uh, just going on five o'clock almost and I'm heading home. Reasonably successful day. The fish and chips went quite well. They all got eaten and one way or another there was a little bit left over. Um, it was quite a, quite a significant amount of food and uh, we took that upstairs in the tradies uh, got rid of that for us, um, it was all eaten and uh, yeah, in general um, got some good uh, feedback on the, uh, the quality of the fish and chips in the uh, 
see where we go from there. Alright, well that covered the day pretty well actually, I can't think of too much more to add to that really, so let's pop over to the diary and um, see how we're going there. But before we go there we'll just stop by that Q&A just to remind you that number two is coming up sometime soon. Alrighty, so I've just got the diary a bit mucked up there. I've got the Hall of Fame over the top of it. So we'll get rid of that. And here's the diary here. So nothing happened out on the yard today. Um, I got home sort of after five. It's not too much light left and it's quite damp out there. So uh, the lawns are not growing that, that much. I think the next um, go at them will be... Uh, may be pretty significant but I shouldn't be too much problem 5475 steps pretty good uh, 817 the feast a question today and uh, at 361 hint one some emails the workshop and well this morning I was less than 80 but after fish and chips and a variety of biscuits and other things and um, some cake and what have you coming up tomorrow um, yes, I think that barrier might not, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens in the morning. Um, I'm predicting over 80, but, oh well, we'll just have to wait and see. So, let's uh, go to um, or today's uh, question, and uh, here it is. What is the average distance from the Earth to the Moon? If you know the answer, put it in the comments below the video. And oh, look, I've got the uh, the thumbnail text there. I had to adjust it yesterday because we had a quite of a bit of a big one there. So I've, that'll move it back into place and lock it up. So uh, that's all good. So there's the question. If you've got your answer, put it in the comments below the video. Now. Um, Moving on to yesterday's uh, Hall of Fame. Here it is. Which of these nuts has the highest fat content? Of course, it's the macadamia. And uh, Tartan Snowflake was the first in with the answer. And Moz piled in later on with a, um, a rendition or a written rendition of the Macarena which, um, when I translated the words, was quite an appropriate song, as it turned out. However, I did find um, a bit of a reference to it in the Urban Dictionary, which suggested it was um, not one of the best songs going around, but uh, it still comes up from time to time in various situations. So, well, that's it for today. Thanks, everybody, for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. Appreciate the marvellous efforts and the time that you spend on the channel. And I look forward to, well, seeing you again, hopefully tomorrow, but if not, sometime in the future. All good. Cheers. See you. That's all, folks. This has been a Mario presentation. Recorded live in our studio at Narawahia. Capital of the Waikato District, a district towards the top of the North Island of Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud. We're a little country right at the bottom of the globe, a place where Kiwis live in a paradise we like to call God's own country.